We're going to take a little tour of Agur now. This is where we stayed last night. It's been here for a while. It's on a wooden platform. And we come up to a relatively short door. And once we're inside, you can see the amount of room that's in here. It's just really pretty amazing. A uh, place for eating, four beds around. The artwork in this one is painted onto these, and I'm sure there's a term for each one of these rafter sticks that comes up. I don't know what it is, but these are painted, and some of them get very elaborate and are actually carved. Jimmy's making her way around. We're all kind of getting up and going. I've had our breakfast of sweet roll, coffee, uh, sausage and onions. We had dumplings last night. Jimmy, were those dumplings made up here? Yes, they're made up here. It's traditional. We call them rolls. Nice traditional meat-filled. What kind of meat? Mutton. Mutton, okay. And beef. Mm -hmm. Mostly mutton. And the uh, hot water is kept in these large thermoses. And if you want warm food, you just put the food in a bowl and pour a little hot water over it, and it makes it hot. Also for coffee or tea. How many people does it take, Jimmy, to put one of these up? Two is enough. A couple of people, okay. Two people is enough. If they know what they're doing, they can put one of these things up in a day and ready to go. Now this is looking at the intersection of the sidewalls, the gur and the... What are these pieces called? Un. Un? Un. Okay. Uh, they're probably an uh, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, uh, round down below, and go to square, and then tapered up to the... And the circular thing on top is called a... Ton. A ton, okay. And this lattice work works all the way around in uh, circular fashion, really pretty strong. Felt on the outside, this basically cosmetic covering on the inside. And it's really a structurally elegant piece of work. No nails, no screws. Take it down, bundle it up, nomadic transport it, set it up in one day, and you're ready to go. We're going to take a look at the felt out here because this is really interesting. It's got an outer covering on it, and this is a modern version with nylon straps around, an outer covering of uh, some kind of modern fabric. But these straps go all the way around and hold it up tight against a lattice work of poles that are tied together periodically with uh, rawhide or sinew, uh, traditionally. And this door structure at the front is a strong framework, so the, the tension from the straps going around to the right side here and coming back around to connect on the left side, the tension is all taken by this uh, door framework structure. And then under this covering, this is the layer of canvas on top, and then really a very thick layer of traditional felt. This is probably a half or five-eighths of an, in, in, an inch thick. There are two layers here, and then under that, a, a cloth layer. Jimmy, what, what material make, is the felt made out of? Um, it's mostly just animal hair. Is it a horse or...? No, it's... A Goat. Goat hair. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of a uh, a lower quality cashmere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the the gur felts made from uh, yeah cashmere goats. Heaven's sakes. Okay. Well, that's the tour of the gur. Stack out the top. Little little uh, stove inside. And very very practical functional and comfortable as well.